Uh, the Supreme Court turns down a contraceptive case. The state of Washington passed a law saying that um, uh, pharmacists may not refuse to fill prescriptions because of ethical concerns, because of religious concerns. And in other words, they can't basically say, no, I'm not going to give you those birth control pills that you have a prescription for because I'm a Catholic and I don't believe in birth control. I mean, that was the essential argument that was being made. And the uh, the federal court in, uh, I'm, I'm guessing this is the Ninth Circuit, um, said, no, you can't, uh, you know, or he said, yes, this this is a law that will hold up. And so this small pharmacy that was run by a religious family who did not want to hand out birth control pills to, to women sued and took it all the way to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court uh, said, you know, we're not going to make a decision in this case. We're not going to uh, grant cert. We're not going to listen to it. We're not going to hear it. We're just going to let the lower court's decision stand. And the lower court's decision was that the law was constitutional. The law was just fine. Thank you very much. And if you want to go in the pharmacy business, damn it, get ready to pass out pills because that's what pharmacists do. I mean, this is just crazy. It's like, you know, uh, you're going to have conscientious objectors volunteering for the Marines. I mean, it's if 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 you're if you're constitutionally opposed to something, if you're afraid of flying, don't become a flight attendant. Right. It's I mean, it's there's just like. There's this thing called common sense. I, I just I it just it just baffles me. Uh, two other abortion cases, by the way, one in Miss, Missouri, uh, Mississippi and one in Wisconsin, in both cases involving these trap laws, these laws that say that doctors have to have admitting privileges and, and abortion clinics have to be built to the standards of basically hospitals. When you can go in for a colonoscopy in which you're 10 times more likely to to need medical emergency services, and that can be done in a doctor's office. Or that can be done in a in a center that is you know far more simple than 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 you know an abortion clinic. Um, and the vast majority of abortions, like I think it's over ninety percent now, are actually done by here. Take this pill, sit here for two hours, make sure you don't get a bad reaction to it, and then come back in a couple of days after you've had you know basically a really hard period, which is your abortion. This is for you know very early term abortions. Um, both Mississippi and Wisconsin had tried to. Uh, shut down their abortion clinics by by saying, no, no, you've got to, you, you know, for, for to pass out a pill to somebody, you've got to have a full-blown surgical center. And all this, uh, the Supreme Court said, no, we're not going to hear those cases either. We you just you just heard our rulings. This is going to start to echo across the United States. So I, I see this as, you know, these are positive steps and they are they are just generally going to be making everybody crazy. The uh, Everybody on the right, crazy. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.